to the entire world. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. God is good all the time. Let us say a prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazareth, by way of the grace, the mercy, and the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for every single day we have, Father. Such as these birds chirp and sing, Father, we sing and give you praise, Father. We thank you for the air that we get the opportunity to breathe, Father, and we know that air is of you, Father. That air is the Holy Spirit that we get to breathe in and breathe out. We ask that we would be filled with your love, care, and compassion, Father. Please, Father, soften our hearts, Father. Open our minds up towards each other, Father, and let us learn how to love, Father. Let us learn how to care and listen to what each other are trying to say, Father, because we are all one race, God's race, the human race. For these and many of the blessings, we will continuously pray as your nation. In the name of Jesus Christ, the natural, our personal Lord and Savior, by way of the grace and mercy of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 We must remember to continue to plan for our life in a strategic fashion. We cannot fall. We cannot waver. We must remember that we are God's children, that God has selected us to do this work, to do this mission, you know? I believe in you. I believe that God has chosen you. I believe you are special. I believe you are God's seed. You know it. You do know what I'm talking about because it's in your heart. It is in your mind. God has given you the willpower. We must act on it. We must use what God has given us. It's up to us because we are one race, God's race. We are the human race. We are all alike. There's really nothing different between you and myself. Because I love my family. I'm pretty sure you love your family. I'm pretty sure you have friends you love, that you care for, that you want to see succeed in life. So let's stick together, let's unify, let's stay prayed up. Let's all do this together because it is truly up to us. We are all one race, God's race. Social media really is us. We make up the social media outlets, now don't we, as human beings. So let's stay prayed up. Let's give God praise on social media. Let's make social media God's outlet, God's center, where you can go to receive positive messages. Give me a follow. There are other people who think like you, who think like me, who want to see positivity, who want to see God's message on social media. So join the movement. Make posts your own self. I know you can do it. However you decide to do it, let God move you in such a way that you move other individuals. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. And remember, plan strategically for your life. Our life will strategically plan for you. Amen. To the entire world, be blessed and stay phenomenal. God is good all the time. Let us say a prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazareth our Lord, our Savior, our healer, by way of the grace and the mercy of the power of the Holy Spirit, Father. We thank you and we acknowledge you for giving us another day to breathe in and breathe out, Father. Yet we ask that we accomplish your mission, Father. We ask that you keep us safe and protected, Father. We ask that we not be distracted by the ways of this world, Father. We ask that we be renewed in our mind, Father, and we ask that we do not be transformed to the ways of society and the ways of this world, Father. Let us stay spiritually clean, Father, and help us to be physically clean, Father. Please remove all the habits that are not good in our lives, out of our lives, Father. Please remove the individuals that need to be removed out of our lives, out of our lives, so we can become closer to you. Father, all we are simply asking for is for you to remove all distractions out of our lives. Please bring peace into our world, Father, because we are one race, God's race, the human race, Father. We are your race, Father. Please protect and look after us, Father. We need you now more than ever, Father, here on this planet, Father. And we are giving you praise. We are acknowledging you, Father. And we are thinking less of ourselves as individuals. And we are starting to see the collectiveness. And we are the church that you have built together, Father. And we can move mountains, God. And we believe it in our heart. And we pray this prayer. 
by the way and the grace and the mercy, Father. And we do this in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazareth, our Savior, who is our personal, individual Savior and our collective Savior who died for our sins, Father, by way of the grace and mercy of the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. God is good all the time. Never relent what God has given you to someone else. Keep what God has given you. Don't let it go. You have no reason to let go of what God has provided you in your life. Think on it. Truly think on it. How many people have tried to take what God has given you and for some reason they just can't get it? It's not because you're fighting them or, or you're putting up a front or, or you're being aggressive. No, it's just because you're being at peace. No, it's not because you're being aggressive. No, it's not because you're putting up a front. It is because you are at peace in your mind and in your heart and you allow God to take control of your life and continue to do so because when God takes control of your life sometimes we don't know where we go we don't know where we will end up but God knows where we're going God knows where we'll end up because God is that GPS God is the map why because God created all things so God knows where God is taking us God knows what God is doing but if we plan strategically for our life, instead of life strategically planning for us, that means we are leaning on God and not the ways of this world. So keep that in your heart and mind. Keep it in your heart and mind. God is here. And you do have a support system. There are people in this world who do believe and will support you in anything that it is that you're trying to do. But you have to believe it. You can't waver in your mind. You can't waver in your heart. You have to soar high. You have to go ahead and go above the clouds. And sometimes you have to fall off the cliff. You have to jump off a cliff, take a risk, and let God be the one to go ahead and open the parachute when it is time to open up the parachute. Just as that plane right there that flew by, God is there. So if you have to jump out, God would open up that chute for you. God will never leave you alone. God would never leave you without a safety net or a reference point. Keep that in mind. A reference point is something you can refer to when you've gone through a struggle, when you've gone through a situation in life. Use that as your reference point. God is good all the time. Go back to Genesis. If you don't have a Bible, go to Google and ask, what was God's first question to man? It's okay. Pick it up. Pick up the internet and use it for spiritual practices. The way to handle the devil is to not acknowledge the devil because the devil is dead. The devil is like a, a fly. The devil is like someone who is beneath you, who is nothing but a bully and has no self-esteem and no confidence. Anytime you deal with someone that is filled with evil, the way you handle them is you invoke the name of God. Anytime you invoke the name of God and whatever it is that you do, all evil shall flee. All evil will leave you alone is simply by you using the name of God. If you say in the name of God, you will leave me alone. They will leave you alone. In the name of God, you will give me the space that I need, that you will get the space you need. If you say, in the name of God, this job shall be mine, the job shall be yours. Because keep in mind, God said, I will grant all the desires of your heart. And what God has put together, let no man, let no thing tear apart. Because they cannot tear apart from what God has put together. We must understand that we are more powerful than any creation that God has ever created. Yes, as human beings, we are more powerful than the angels. But we don't understand this. We as humans are more powerful than any angel. Go back and study who God seeks that relationship with. It is you. 
as an individual, God sees through you because you were made in the image. You were made in the likeness of God. And then God turns around and said, let us make them in our image. That is the image of God. That is the image of the Holy Spirit. That is the image of Jesus Christ, our Savior. We must all remember that God is not a religion. Jesus did not practice a religion. The Holy Spirit does not practice a religion. They practice spirituality because they are a spirit. But yet on this earth, we practice religion. We should not separate ourselves with religion because please research the word religion for yourself. The etymology of the word religion means to bind back again. But God came to break the yoke. God came to break what we were bound to. Now, if the word religion, the etymology of the word religion means to bind back again, but we know that God came to break the yoke. We know God is of a spirit. We know Jesus is of a spirit. We know the Holy Spirit is of a spirit, and we must see it for that. It's nothing wrong with being a Christian. It's nothing wrong with being a Muslim, but you must understand when you go to heaven, you will be a spirit. Christianity does not go to heaven. The Islam practice, the Muslim practice does not go to heaven. The Hindu practice does not go to heaven. The Sikh practice does not go to heaven, but you do. I do. And God wants us to find God in his purest form, not just in a religion, but God wants you to find God for yourself. God wants you to call upon the name of God. This way you will understand that the devil is dead. The devil has no dominion and no power over you. I can freely say that I obliterate evil. I can freely say I eradicate demons. I can freely say that I take negative entities and I crush them. How can I say these things? Because it, it is not I that is doing it. It is what is in I. It is God that is in me because I am simply a host to the Lord of hosts. And in being a host to the Lord of hosts, that means that God can encompass me. God can take me over because I am simply a servant. I am a host. I allow God to fill this vessel. That is it. It is not me. And you should be as bold enough to say that you can eradicate all evil because you too are a vessel of God and God seeks us out. God will not let his vessels rest until they do the work of God. And I'm asking all people who believe in God, who speak on Jesus, who speak on the Holy Spirit to go beyond Christianity, to go beyond being a Muslim, whatever it is that you practice and to go into the spirit of God and spread the word of God. Spread the word of God. We have all sorts of people trying to make their own Bibles nowadays. Even former politicians and are making their own Bibles. That is why you must find God for yourself. That's why you must seek a relationship and talk to God. How do I talk to God? God, I am here. God, please tell me what it is that I need to do. God, I don't even know how to speak to you, God, but I'm talking right now, God. Speak back to me, Lord. That is how you talk to God. You don't have to, to the be entire world to be blessed and stay phenomenal. Let me ask you a question. Honestly, how many times a day do you pray? Think about that question before you say maybe once or twice or you don't pray at all. Because anytime you ask God for something, anytime you're in need and you ask for it, and you ask God for it, your conversation is with God. It's not with man. It's not, it's not even just with yourself because you're made in the image and in the likeness of God. So understand, you pray more often than what you really understand. And God loves you for that. Now, pray without ceasing. Pray with an open mind and an open heart. Pray with acknowledgement. Now that you know you're praying more often than what you think, pray with acknowledgement and thank God for those opportunities to say the prayer that you are saying. Now, always remember, plan strategically for your life or your life will strategically plan for you. Amen? 
Amen. I am with it. I wrestle with God. I speak to Jesus and I congress with the Holy Spirit. The entire world to be blessed and stay phenomenal. I want to let you know something. The devil is dead. God has sent men and women just like you and like me who have faith to know the devil is dead. People like you and people like me are not afraid to eradicate all evil. We look evil in the eye and evil shudders. The devil runs from me as pigs flee off of a cliff. The devil runs from you because you are covered by God. You have the countenance of the Holy Spirit on you and in you. And every word you speak, it bursts the devil's eardrums. So those who doubt and have fear, remember the Bible says 365 times, fear not. Remember and think on this, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, even that old serpent, the devil. Think about it. Jesus has already gone to hell and destroyed hell and has grabbed the keys to hell and has bound Satan and his demons. God created all things. God created the devil. So what makes you think you don't have more power that you are not potent than the devil? Ha! You are more potent than the devil. You are more powerful than any creation on this earth. God has given you dominion over this land. God has given you the dominion. God has given you the capacity to spread and be fruitful and multiply. No other species can do the things that we do, seen or unseen, because God seeks a relationship with you. The devil had a relationship with God and he blew it. God gave us more power. God gave us spiritual capacity and God has given us earthly capacity to do things. The devil's the prince of the air. That's nothing. Because the Holy Spirit, God, the air I breathe is God. It is the breath of the Holy Spirit. So the devil is the prince of nothing. While God rules all. And you shall be utilized as that vessel for God to eradicate all evil. You should be able to look evil in the eye and destroy evil. I don't care who you are. If you are evil, God shall pull it out of you by people like me. Evil shall flee. Evil shall turn this off. Evil shall have this remain in their brain after they turn it off. When you have spoken the words of God to evil, evil shall always curtail. Evil shall always be obliterated. Evil cannot withstand God. And you have God in you because you were made in the image and in the likeness of God. And you have not been stripped. Satan has been stripped. You spell devil backwards. You have the word lived and we serve a living God. Now, don't we? You keep your power. You keep your spirit. You keep your living word. Every time evil shall approach you, it shall cause you no harm. All it shall do is approach. Remember, you shall go about and do greater works than what Jesus has done. And Jesus has bound the devil already. So you have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear. You are closer to God than any other generation that has ever walked this planet. Yes, you are. And this is why you go through the turmoil. This is why you can't rest at night because God has placed assignments in your heart and you are not the only one that just cannot sleep at night. There are nights I can't sleep because God has put it in me and the Holy Spirit keeps turning about inside of me. And I'm going to speak that word and I'm going to let evil know that you are nothing. You are dead. And I live because I serve the living God. All of humanity belongs to God. All animals belong to God. The fowls in the air. The creatures that roam the earth, the fish, and all the amphibious life of the waters, and everything inside of the earth 
God rules all. Never forget it. Hold your faith. And yes, I am passionate because I have the compassion of Christ. So I am with passion. I am not just passionate. I am with it. I wrestle with God. I speak to Jesus and I congress with the Holy Spirit. Join me. Join us. Join us and speak that word. Join us and be filled with that fire and vapor and smoke that the Holy Spirit, that God, that Jesus has spoke of. You keep in mind, those beasts serve God. They do. And what? God has given you dominion. Not dominance, but dominion. So own it. Live it and know the devil is nothing but dead. The devil is a rumor. That's all the devil is, is a rumor because he is not here anymore. God is here in you. Jesus is here in you. The Holy Spirit is here in you. Understand that and live with it. God is good all the time. Amen. Amen. God is good. Let us say a prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene our savior by way of the grace and the mercy and the power of the holy spirit and we thank you god we celebrate you every single day father because you are our creator you have given us everything that we've ever asked for and father we ask for more right here on this social media platform because this now god is your center this social media platform is your outlet father and we shall fulfill your works and your living word here on social media father we should go about and be fruitful and multiply father and reach the nation and reach the masses with positivity father lord there's a lot of negative influences out there in society father but we here as your race god's race host to the lord of hosts will do our part in obliterating the negative energy that fills this world father we thank you we thank you god for the skill set that you have given us, Father. And we will utilize it because we are the living word. We are one race, God's race, the human race. And we shall collectively stay bounded to your word, God, and your will and your method. By the name of Jesus Christ, in that we pray. By the grace and the mercy of the power of the Holy Spirit, in that we live. Amen. God, we love you and recognize you indeed. God is with you, plan strategically for your life. Our life was strategically planned for you. Listen to God. That is how you strategically plan for your life. To the entire world, be blessed and stay phenomenal. God is good all the time. Let us say a prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, we come to you today collectively in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazareth by way of the grace, the mercy, and the power of the Holy Spirit, Father. We give you praise no matter where we are located in this world, Father. No matter if it's day, night, evening, or afternoon, Father. We come to you collectively here on this social media platform to give you praise, God. We announce how glorious you are to the world on social media, Father. We stick together, Father, as one race, God's race, united, healing each other, Father, thinking positive, Father, shedding all the negative, Father, we want to just be with you, God. We want to keep it positive. We want to stay together as one race, God's race, Father. There are many who are trying to divide us, Father, but there are more who want to be united together, Father, who want to know you, God, who seek peace and comfort in their life, Father. We understand that you are not a religion. You are a spirit and you dwell within everything on this earth, the seen and the unseen, Father, and everything in the universe. You created all, God, and we honor you for creating us. We love you, God, and keep us protected and guide us. Thank you, God, every single day. In the name of Jesus Christ, by way of the grace and mercy and the power of the Holy Spirit, we acknowledge you, God. Amen, amen, amen. Every day we have the opportunity to give God praise, to acknowledge God. We go through struggles, we go through ups, we go through downs. But God is here for us every single day. It's truly our choice 
to do the work of God. No one can stop us from doing the work, the will, the method, and the strategy of God. We must plan strategically for our life. Our, our life will strategically plan for us. We have to keep this in mind. We cannot let others go around dictating what God has put in our hearts, what God has put in our mind, and what God has chosen for us to speak. We cannot remain silent as God's race, God's nation. We must continue to lead people closer to God. We must continue to be that bridge. We must continue to be able to fill that void with the love of God, with the compassion of God. The word compassion means with passion, and Jesus was filled with compassion. He just not was compassionate. Jesus took things to the next level, and Jesus said that we shall go about and do greater works than what Jesus and the disciples have done because Jesus has gone to be with the Father. Do you believe that you can do greater works than what Jesus has done? Because you can do God-guided works with your hands. God has selected you. You must believe that God has selected you to be here on this earth. You're wondering, why am I here? What is my assignment? Your assignment is to take care of what God has put into your heart. Well, what did God put into my heart? Love, peace, joy, prosperity. God did not fill you with anger. Someone may give you some negative news and rub that anger off on you, but you cannot let it rub off on you. Remember that Jesus told us, Remember that God told us that we shall renew our minds on a daily basis. There shall be many people to fall around you. There should be many evil to fall around you. It could be 10,000 people to fall around you, but none of them shall touch you. It could be 10,000 people to fall around you, but no evil shall come against you. All evil that is formed against you shall be defeated. Because keep in mind, the battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. Let the Lord fight that battle for you. I know you want to fight the battle for yourself. But if you understand that you were made in the image and in the likeness of God, then you are not fighting any battles at all, are you? It is God fighting the battle through you, and you must let the Lord express himself through your being because that is what God wants to do. God wants to see how life is through your eyes. God wants to be there. God wants to protect you. But if you keep pushing God away, then how can God protect you? If you keep pushing your loved ones away, how can God protect you? If you keep pushing away the advice that family members and friends and even strangers give you that is appropriate and it fits your scenario and your situation, how can God help you? You have to remember, again, plan strategically for your life or your life was strategically planned for you. And part of God planning strategically for your life, a part of you planning strategically for your life is letting God in, letting God be there. Because God's very first question to man was, where art thou? Keep that in your mind, that God asked us first, where were we? We didn't ask God first, where is God? God asked us, so we must say, God, we are here. I am here, God. I am here for you. I am a host to the Lord of hosts. And let Jesus use you. Let the Holy Spirit use you. Let God use you. Amen, amen, amen indeed. God is with us all. To the entire world, be blessed and stay phenomenal. We all know God is good all the time. Let us say a prayer. Our Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, our Savior, our Healer, our Lord, Father. By way of the grace and mercy of the power of the Holy Spirit, Father. The Holy Spirit has anointed us and left us with cloven tongues of fire and fulfilled the prophecy that our Lord of hosts, Jesus, said will be fulfilled. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to acknowledge you, God, because, God, you didn't have to do so, but you have given us dominion, not dominance, Father, but dominion, Father. Shelter. You have given us everything that our hearts could desire, Father. But let us open our eyes up and see this, God. Let us treat each other fairly, Father. Let us live a pious life, Father. Let us live a righteous being, Father. Let us fulfill your word. Let us understand that we as the human race are the living word, Father. We, as the human race, are the church, Father. It is not a religion, Father. It is the spirit of God that dwells within us that we get to inhale and exhale daily, Father. And we thank you. We say this prayer right here on social media with no shame, Father. As a matter of fact, we say it in multiplication, Father. 
we share these words, Father, all across your lands, Father, because you own it all. The devil is nothing but dead, Father. You spell that name backwards, and we understand it says lived. And we serve a living God, Father, and that is you, and we praise you. And we will not stop praising you, Father. We will continuously praise you, God. It is a non-stop thing, God. It is not about just bolus. It is intermittent as well, Father. It is a continuum, God, and we shall fulfill these deeds here on this earth as they are done in heaven, God. Because Jesus prayed that prayer, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done here on this earth as it is in heaven, and we are the generation, Father, to fulfill that deed, God. We don't need to see Jesus Christ in the flesh, we have enough faith and we have enough belief and some of us have enough knowledge and know God is here and know Jesus is here. And Father, I ask the ones that have the knowledge to take the believers up to the next level of knowledge, to take them up to the next level of faith, God. God, I would ask that you would take the believers and let the believers speak to the non-believers and get them to believe, Father and get the believers to get the ones that are lost and leave them so that they may gain and acquire the knowledge, Father, that they need to know you. Because knowledge is wisdom applied, Father, and we must know you, God. And we are relentlessly relentless in the pursuit of your kingdom, and we will not stop, Father, until every person has the opportunity to know you, and we will use social media, Father, for it exists, and it shall be here well after we are gone. And if we want to leave a lineage of your word, Father, we must utilize social media and let it not just be filled with sensational posts, Father, and trash. For you live and you are clean. For everything that you have touched is clean. Everything that you say is clean, Father. And we thank you for your cleanliness, God. For we live in it and we dwell in it, Father. Even though the mess and the muck is around us, Father, it shall not touch us. It shall approach but it shall not touch. Amen, indeed. We are your nation, one race, God's race, undivided. We love you, God. We acknowledge you, God, here, now, in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, our Lord of hosts, because we are the host, Father. By way of the grace and the mercy of the power of the Holy Spirit, we have those cloven tongues, and we speak now with those cloven tongues of fire, God. Indeed, amen. God is with us, and we shall always keep our fortitude. Remember, plan strategically for your life. Our life was strategically planned for you. Spread the word of God. Be fruitful and multiply. Worry less about what somebody else has to say. Only focus on your relationship with God because at the end of it all, at the end of it all, it will only be you and God. And you shall see because every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, and you shall be a witness to that old serpent in his place, bound and chained. Because he is bound and chained already because Jesus Christ, our Savior, the Son of God, has done so already, and we shall be a witness to that. Amen indeed. Go about your day as I go about mine. Be fruitful and multiply. Amen.